Hi everyone in Cloud Computing and welcome to episode 42 of the Cloud Computing Training Show with Brad Nelson, an internationally recognized and the world's number one cloud industry expert and thought leader, David Linthicum. This show is sponsored by Nelson Hilliard, a cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. In this week's show, David and I are talking about that the online learning platform Simply Learn has launched a new hire training initiative that aims to shorten the time to productivity of new recruits via a structured training curriculum and beginners can complete before their first day on the job or within their first couple of weeks. Make sure you stay until the end to get David's top three training tips. Hi Dave, it's great to have you on another training show this week. Yeah, it's great to be here. Great topic. Uh, it really is. And, and I love it when we talk about training initiatives. I think it's, uh, you know, we, we love to embrace training initiatives ourselves at Nelson Hilliard. So it'd be great to hear your thoughts on this. So, you know, a great opening question, Dave, is, is do you think this is or would you consider this to be the future of new training for new hires? Yeah, I think I think this is um, obviously, um, you know, I work with a lot of organizations that, that uh, leverage CBT along with classroom training. And I always think classroom training is kind of waste of people's time because you have to show up at a certain place and, you know, deal with the human being that's going to have an ego and it's going to, you know, basically have a bad day and uh, not necessarily communicate the things that need to be communicated, you know, versus a true CBT where you're interacting with a human, but also getting the um, access to the course material to you know, examples, you can stop at any time and try some things and then come back to it and really kind of, you know, learn at your own pace. And I, I find that people are much more productive in doing that. And so what they're doing here, instead of giving you, gra uh, you know, granular courses where you can just go and, you know, take courses like you're uh, eating off a buffet, uh, they're allowing you to um, uh, basically set up a new hire, you know, kind of uh, setup where you can take them to the basics all the way to you know, the details and have course evaluations and, you know, really kind of figure out that they're going to know their stuff. And the reality is I'd rather give this to a new hire than I would make them go to, you know, a classroom training course or, you know, someplace where they have to do every day. I just find that as an, I'm myself, I don't personally, I don't find it as an easy way to learn that way. And I think most people are kind of with me. I'd rather learn in a multi-dimensional way using multimedia, be able to stop, start, you know, figure out things, you know, be, be able to go to the test and stop the test and go back and check my and, you know, check where I got the information from and really kind of makes it uh, a level of understanding we don't have anymore. And I, I think that uh, we reached a point and I think this is also for universities and colleges that uh, we're not going to, you know, need as many instructors anymore. It's going to be on demand. It's going to be online. It's going to be automated, typically AI driven. And training new employees is, is basically going to be starting them into a process and then putting them through, you know, you know, 15, 20 courses, you know, before they're ready to go do whatever they're looking to do. And I think that's perfectly fine uh, coming forward. And I think that's uh, something that we're going to have to uh, uh, learn to understand. And I think it's a core benefit to most people out there. I think millennials learn better this way. I learn better this way. I think people are more adapted to, you know, CBT training. Yeah, absolutely. One of the things that we do actually from, from a new hire point of view uh, is we're looking, from a recruiter point of view, hiring new recruiters, uh, is we're looking at you know not only core skills on, on what their, uh, where their strengths are, et cetera, but we're looking at ways of you know, understanding the marketplace that, that they really want to work in. And I think that's really key. We're not telling people to say, right, this is your marketplace, this is what you're going to do. So we, we more often than not start, start a, a survey process where we can assess the market share of where they want to go in and why they want to do that. And then making sure that the feedback we're getting via the survey is then catering to some form of bespoke training around that. That's really gonna make uh, some sort of joined up process. So that's from, from our point of view. And it's, it's really great because there's that continuity of, of integrity that we've got as a brand. And, and we don't often talk about that, but making sure that we're, we're meeting the needs of the market and making sure that our recruiters are having and developing those relationships in the, in the context of that. And it goes, it, it's really down to the training and making sure that the sooner you get the right training involved that's going to benefit the individual really importantly the individual and the knock-on effect is it's going to in, you know you know certainly impact the business so as, as in this circumstance Nelson Hilliard so you know from a first-hand point of view getting that initial training right is so key so something like this could be really good because it's covering things like big data machine learning AI obviously cloud digital marketing so it seems a really good thing don't you think yeah I 
we do, and it's repeatable, right? Uh, so in other words, we're you know dealing with the training that we need and repeating the training. And by the way, the training is going to be updated and continuously improved. So you know, on no way are we looking at CBTs that aren't going to change from month to month. And so these things really need to kind of uh, understand they're going to have to go through continuous improvement ongoing going forward. And I, I think it's the repeat repeatable nature of it is the big thing. So in other words, the reason we do DevOps is because we can repeat development processes and basically move things in a consistent, automated way into production from development. And I think the same thing with training. We can, in essence, you know, put people through kind of a training ops, you know, sort of thing where they're uh, going through automated training. They're, we're changing it all the time. We're aligning it to the technology. We're not wasting their time. And they can repeat it, leverage it, and do so with the freedom they need to do. And we're, in essence, kind of removing them from having to go to a place every day and, you know, do that kind of stuff, which I think is just, you know, outdated. It's, you know, 19, 1950s kind of things. Yeah, absolutely. Although saying that, people love traveling hundreds of miles on an aircraft to go to training. You know, I mean, that's they love the, the, the waste of the time that it is and just the whole process of airplane food and... <laughs> <laughs> that's my w wicked sense of humor coming in there Dave no it's no it's, it's not, actually, some people actually like training I, I, I think those people are kind of you know falling by the wayside um, but uh, classroom training I, I think is has been outmoded and I think people realize that CBTs weren't that good in the past and so we had you know VHS tapes and DVDs and you know things like that and I taught a lot of courses for the um, for the computer channel and and uh, did a lot of things, but now it's totally interactive. Where, you know, we're able to answer questions, provide examples, and you know, it's multi-dimensional, and so for therefore very rich, and probably richer than if you're dealing with a human being. And so, CBT is far superior to uh, in-person training, I think. Yeah, absolutely. I, I was I was kidding. I mean, we've spoken about that before, where people have to take time out from the business, the cost to the business, the cost of someone's time, etc. It's just it, you know this CBT training. It, it just makes so much sense. Uh, it's very dynamic, as you say, can be you know you know influenced by the the feedback from the the uh, the recipient in almost real time. So that's great. So look, it moves us on nicely, Dave. To your your top three training tips, if you'd love to share them, that'd be great. Yeah, number one, understand the objective of the training and uh, make sure you don't waste people's time by putting training in that doesn't really uh, mean anything to their jobs. I find that uh, training managers uh, can be lazy at times where they'll put in, um, you know, perhaps uh, GCP training along with AWS training, even though the person training for the position will never use any GCP and therefore it's Google Cloud Platform, I'm sorry, and a Amazon Web Services. And the reality is, is they'll get frustrated because they're getting information they don't necessarily going to use during their during their job. That doesn't mean they don't want the information. They probably then also doesn't mean they shouldn't take Google Cloud Platform training at some point in the future. But the reality is, only give them what they need to do their do their jobs and minimize training as much as possible. I call it lean training. Um, watch for uh, mismatching training and the job, as we mentioned earlier, the ability to in essence um, do a job and doing custom and also off the shelf training and a combination of both. I mean, people have a tendency to want to retrofit training they can use on demand that other people are making when in some instances you have to do custom training, which is gonna be specific to their problem domain, specific to your business. And then make sure to track the metrics. I mean, um, you know, satisfaction in terms of training, ability to have them be productive at their jobs is a big thing. The ability to kind of look at productivity met metrics after they go through training, the ability to have satisfaction in job training and making sure they understand what's going on. I think one of the things that's um, big in people who quit jobs um, is they don't feel that they got the adequate training for them to be successful. And I think the ability to kind of understand that and fix that problem will save you thousands and thousands, perhaps millions of dollars a year in lost productivity as you have turnover that you shouldn't have. And ultimately, you know, this is about doing a report card on yourself that's not only occurring once a year, but it's occurring every couple of weeks. And we're changing the training to adapt to the needs and the desires and, you know, what's going right and what's going wrong in the business. And, the, and that's a continuous improvement that's always been lacking in training. I think it's something that should be there systemic to it. Yeah, great top three tips there, Dave. 100%, I agree with all of those as well. Very good points. <laughs> Thanks for being part of the uh, training show this week. It's always a pleasure, man. I nearly forgot what show we were on then. We've had so much fun this week.
<laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. We really hope you enjoyed watching this week's show. And remember, you can reach out to David on Twitter, which is at David Lindigam, and myself on Twitter, which is at Nelson underscore Hilliard. We're also on Instagram, Facebook, obviously YouTube, Twitter. So check us out and make sure you follow, connect, or reach out. We're on LinkedIn as well. I forgot to mention that on the two previous shows this week. So you can reach out to, to David on Twitter and myself on Twitter as well. So, um, uh, LinkedIn, sorry, uh, which would be great. And remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with your friends and with your colleagues. And also click the notification bell so you don't miss out on the future shows coming up. Thanks for watching and until next week.